Yo, what's going on YouTube? I'm back. I'm here bringing out another NBA 2K21 rebuild. And in today's rebuild, we are going to be doing a OKC Thunder realistic rebuild. And in today's rebuild, I do know that Chris Paul is probably going to be in, end up on the Phoenix Suns because it's been rumored and it's somewhat of a realistic trade where where in my last OKC rebuild, I didn't really do a realistic trade. I am still kind of sick. You can still kind of hear me talking through my nose. But um, one of the trades was we sent Chris Paul to the Phoenix Suns to team up with Devin Booker and DeAndre Ayton. That wouldn't be a bad trade for the Suns. But for OKC, that means that they're kind of tanking and looking to capitalize on all those picks they got in the Paul George trade. But if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And comment down below that you subscribe. And also, it shows that 90% of y'all that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Come on, hit that subscribe button. And then my Twitter and Twitch links will be down in the description, too. So go follow those channels, guys. But um, the trade's going to have to be, for the cap to work, it's going to be also... We have to throw in Frank Kaminsky for them. And then we have to throw in, for us, I believe it was um, Burton. Yeah, so for this trade to work, it has to be something like this. And I don't know if OKC would get a first round pick in this. And I don't know if OKC, I'm pretty sure OKC wouldn't give them any picks, but I'm pretty sure OKC would probably get like a first round pick or something, but I'm not gonna do it. And it says they like what they have so far as they're concerned, which is pretty dumb. So if I go to Trade Finder, I guess, and go to Kelly Oubre and Ricky Rubio, it's gonna throw Chris Paul in there. And it's gonna be Chris Paul, Diablo, and Burton for these three. Which, I guess I'll do that, man. I didn't really want to give Diablo up, but we have too many guards on this team. And another realistic trade that I can see happening is, I want to go see, like, right now, if we go to Team Intel, it says we're rebuilding now, and that's pretty much what we're doing with all the draft picks we have. And if we look at who's buying and contending, we could probably end up moving Gallinari's expiring contract. Someone would take that, because I know that he wanted him in real life. But for right now, the Miami Heat, like they're buying. Uh, I mean, it could be a trade possibility to Miami Heat for Giannis. I mean, I said Giannis. Gallinari. So, if I throw Daniel Gallinari, because it's expiring, man. It's not like a player option or anything. So, And we head over to the Miami Heat. Because he would be their starting power forward. Because they don't really have a starting power forward right now. It's like Jay Crowder and... That's about it. So he would pretty much fit in right with them. And a trade that I could see happening for him would be... It would probably have to be like Kelly Olenek, whose contract is expiring. And then... You would get... Maybe... Because what, what's the problem here? We would have to get six more million. So for this to be somewhat realistic, I mean... They'd probably get Jay Crowder in the deal. And then... You end up giving them, like, because you got to give them another player, which kind of kind of sucks because then we're giving away, like, our young pieces that I don't really want to give away. We give them Mike Muscala, and then I would think we would get, like, a first-round pick in return, something like that. And they want Aaron Baines, and we have to take on Solomon Hill for just to get that first-round pick, which, I mean... He is expiring, so yeah, we'll do that. So we do get the Miami Heat's first round pick, which will probably be somewhat in the um, 20s because they are a playoff team. And right now, we got Ricky Rubio, Shea Gilligas, Alexander, Kelly Oubre, Jay Crowder, and Steven Adams. So of course, we are going to be building around Shea Gilligas, Alexander. That's the goal for this video. And we're going to try to get this team back into the playoffs, being realistic. And of course, as y'all see, there's an update that just happened. But I am going to be seeing this season, and so I will see y'all after the first season. So we're here at the end of the first season and Luca is your MVP. And then we have uh, Mark, who is this? DeMarcus Cousins, I couldn't see his name. DeMarcus Cousins for sixth man of the year. Giannis is defensive player of the year. Most approved goes to Christian Wood. And then Brad Stevens gets coach of the year as they go 59 and 23. And then here's your all NBA teams. I know we didn't get anyone because we weren't a playoff team. We did go uh, 33 and 49, a little that's a little better than I thought we would go. I wanted to go complete, like, I wanted to be complete garbage so we could get the first pick or something. But that didn't happen, man. And we did end up not making playoffs, of course. If you look at the standings, where did we get um, 
not power rankings. Like, are we down here at the bottom? We, yeah, we were the second worst team in the West, and, oh man, like, the eighth worst team overall. So that's not good for us. Let's simulate the season, man. And let's go and get us a rookie to help with Shea Gilgis Alexander, man. That's the goal. My goal is to maybe get like, because we're going to have two first round picks in this draft. We're going to have the Miami Heat. We might have three. We might have the Clippers, Heat, and we're going to have our pick. And the Heat only got the eight seed. That's dumb, man. Like with Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, and Gallinari, the Heat would be like a top three team, I believe. But it's the Celtics and Pelicans finals as the Pelicans are going to win or this? Yeah, the Celtics do win. And Jason Tatum was your final MVP. But like I said, we are trying to go out and get some help for Shea Gilgis Alexander because out of, besides Shea Gilgis Alexander, we don't have anyone at all, like really, on this team. So if we go to, let's look at uh, player retirements. I never really look at these. Jamal Crawford's gone. Kyle Korver, Tyson Chandler, Haslam finally retired. JJ Redick retired. That's the first I've seen JJ Redick retire. And let's hit a draft lottery and see where we end up getting our pick, man. We're projected to get like the eighth pick, I believe. We're projected to get seven, which, mm, let's see where it goes, man. I don't know if y'all like to see the draft lottery or not, so I'll just stick here with this one for now. So the Magic got 14, and then who got 13? Probably the Nuggets still. Yeah, the Nuggets got 13. Next. The Knicks still can't, the Knicks still can't get that top pick, man. Knicks still struggling, but that's from the Clippers. I guess that's the pick they got from uh, the Marcus Morris trade. And then I guess the Clippers suck this year, which makes no sense. Trailblazers got 11. Hopefully we could get to the top five, man. That'll be very much what we need. Everyone's staying the same so far as it's projected though. And no one has really switched. The Spurs end up staying at 9-2. And hopefully we don't fall down to eight right here. It would be very tragic if we did, man. The Wizards are at eight, 6% chance to get that first pick and they stay at eight. And then here are the OKC Thunder, seven, a 6% chance too. Do we stay? And we end up staying, man. So we'll just skip the rest of the lottery. And the Pacers, Bulls, and Kings are in the top. We still got the seventh picks. So hopefully someone falls to us. We do need pretty much every position besides shooting guard and center. I am going to be keeping Steven Adams. I don't know if some of y'all think that's realistic or not. And Billy Donovan, he did leave in real life, but we don't know who's going to be that head coach. They are parting ways. So, I mean, I'm probably just going to keep him for now because we don't really know who that head coach is. So, let's head to the NBA draft and... They don't want us to draft Patrick Barnes, okay. And let's just sim to our pick and see where we pick. Like, I know where we pick, but who's still on the board, I meant. And I'm hoping someone fell to us, man. And OB fell to us, which is a perfect. OB and the guy from USC, I do like him too. Um, What? He's got a B plus three, A mid range. He's a six, I mean, can move him to power forward. His post defense is great. His perimeter defense is not so great. His rebounding is good. I wish I could see his overall. It's like a B plus. And then OB is what? His three points not good or his mid range, which wouldn't really fit. His defense isn't all that good either. So let's go with, I can't say his name, man. I'm just gonna say double O from USC. I do, uh, I would have liked OB, but I feel like OB is not a good fit next to Steven Adams because he can't shoot at least Double O can shoot. And we do pick again here. Maybe Obi fell to us. And no, he did not. So honestly, we do need a point guard. And there's no point guards here, man. Whatsoever. If you look at the point guards, the best point guard isn't until the 25th, like 25th. So uh I guess we'll go with the small forward right here. Yeah, he's supposed to be like a top pick. He's from like overseas, I believe. So we'll go with him. And do we have any more picks? And we do have another first round pick right here. And let's see what we get, man. One more first round pick. And the best player is this shooting guard. Um, I don't really know much about him. I don't really know much about any of the rest of these players. So we'll just go with the best available, which is him. And then we'll send to the end of the draft, man. I feel like this draft will really help us with our rebuild because we do have uh, three top, we have three rookies. We do have a 79 overall already, man. 
like these rookies are kind of high overall to be honest but you can't really do anything about it because i didn't make the draft class so we do get all these rookies we are going to be signing all three of them except this dude he's a 70 but i don't really need him and let's go to team player options we get shy gilligas and darius uh basely back and then for qualifying offers i will bring ferguson back but not i don't know i guess i'll bring harvey back we could trade him probably and now we're in free agency where i'm not gonna be signing players i just want to see how much cap we have we have a lot of cap space but again it's like who wants to come to okc okc is a small market team it's kind of like the spurs you know they always be winning but they're a small market team where no one really wants to go like the biggest free agent that's really signed there is lamarcus in the past couple of times um we do got to bring some of these players back and i don't want roberson back i mean roberson only wants 1 million so i guess we'll give him the minimum and then i do want steven adams back we'll give him about that much and then schroeder is a good six man for us so we will bring schroeder back and we do get adams roberson and schroeder back which is good for us i don't really want to give steven adams a four-year deal though i just realized i gave him a four-year deal but it is what it is i guess ferguson is 23 is 72 overall for 8 million i think i'll pass hopefully he accepts his option um kelly olenic i don't want to bring back nor jay crowder they want too much money and i want to see if we can find like a like fred van vliet it wouldn't be unrealistic but for signing fred van vliet he probably would leave he would stay in toronto but at the same time he could leave to go play for someone else to be a starting point guard like spencer dinwiddie i could see leaving too I'm probably gonna offer Spencer Dinwiddie. I think it's more realistic to get Dinwiddie than um than um what's his name? Uh Fervent Lee. Like Fervent Lee would be a better fit, but I think it's more realistic to get what's his name? Who I just got. So Spencer Dinwiddie is our one big free agent we signed. Like you're not really gonna get big name free agents, but like I could I know Spencer Dinwiddie. And he would probably end up going where he got the most money because he even posted on Twitter a long time ago saying if I can raise so much money for this or something, that he'll go to that team in the offseason if they pay him, whatever. But we do get these two guys back, Ferguson and them too. So let's go to player progression where Diablo went up four points. Uh, Steven Adams did drop uh, overall, which is expected. Rubio dropped two. But this is Rubio's last year. We're just trying to get these guys up, these young fellas. And honestly, let's go to uh, training camps where we have to like use our training camps because this team is so young. And it's so like hard to get this team up, man, you know? But um let's see, man. Like, I really do I really like the way that we we're doing a realistic rebuild where it's not, oh, you're just trading like in my last OKC rebuild, if y'all haven't saw yet, I didn't end up trading like Chris Paul for Trey Young, which isn't realistic whatsoever. But it's like some of those aren't realistic like realistic rebuilds are to where like those aren't realistic rebuilds what I'm trying to say. So for perimeter shooting, I do want to get um, the rookie out there better. So we got a 75, 30, and 84 mid-range, which is perfect. And then untapped potential, I want to give to our other rookie, this guy right here, which he got B+. And then everyone needs to work on their free throws, man. So we're just going to give everybody up in free throws. Like, look at that. Terrible free throw shooters. Even the rookie's terrible. That's crazy. But it is what it is, man. And, uh... I believe we're just gonna rock with this rotation man like it's not the best but it's not it's not one of the worst after drafting these players like if i make him a power 40 jumps up to a 82 and then i want to make his backup position center again so if we just make do that that should be perfectly fine and so what i want to do is now if i look at the rotation it's going to be spencer dinwiddie shea gilgis alexander the rooks the two rookies starting and steven adams with Dennis Schroeder and Ricky Rubio coming off the bench. Basil and Dort. That's not a bad lineup, man. That's not a bad rotation either. But I do want to end up making um just so they play him. Um I mean I guess we can make Schroeder the shooting guard for now. He is a better shooter than Rubio, so he will be the backup shooting guard. And all in all, man, I want to see what we could get like for Rubio is on an expiring contract too now. Oh, I just realized who we forgot to bring back. <laughs> I'm dumb, man. I just forgot to bring Kelly Oubre back. I just realized that. I don't even know if, where he went. 
that's who we're missing, man. But is it? I want to see if any realistic trades like Rubio to Detroit for Justice Winslow, who's on an expiring deal, and Mike Conley. I mean, let's look at their roster and see who's on their roster, man. Can't really see who's on the roster, actually. Um, For Ricky Rubio, in an expiring deal, we do need like a backup shooting guard. And I feel... I really feel this Justice Winslow trade. They probably wanted... They did just sign Mike Conley, though, so they do need a better backup point guard. But he is the same overall, so I'm really not going to do that. Gay Harris, I don't really see that working out for them. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets, I mean, does he have a player option? Terry Rozier. It's just doing some realistic trades. You don't really know what's realistic and not, I guess. I mean, uh, I mean, let's go look at Detroit real quick and see if they really, let's go look at Detroit, man. Because getting Justice Winslow would honestly help us and help them at the same time. Because Detroit, they have Mike Conley starting. And what did Mike Conley average last year? If he did better than Rubio, it wouldn't be a realistic trade. He averaged 12 points and 5 assists for them. 12 points and 5 assists. So if we go and look at Rubio real quick. If I can find the OKC Thunder. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm retarded, man. If we uh, look at Rubio. And I, we have so many. That's the Suns. Um, if I look at Rubio, and he did better, he didn't shoot as good, but he did better than Mike Conley. So I think I will be making that trade if we just go back into trade finder, put Rubio there, because we do get Justice Winslow, and then we do get the backup point guard we still need. So if they still offer that same trade, yeah, because Rubio, and we have to give him a first, which is somewhat realistic. He averaged pretty much 15 points, seven assists, and he shot 42 and 31. And Mike Conley averaged 12, five and 41 and 38 he shot better from three but rubio is a better overall player so this will be a trade that we're doing it helps us at the small forward position and it helps them get their starting point guard that they need rubio's a good starting point guard a facilitator and everything good defender so we did go uh 10 games over 500 Giannis did end up going to the lakers i guess to replace ad or team up with them and then we got Lamelo ball for rookie of the year for the bulls and then we got kobe white six man defense goes to Giannis. most improved goes to robert williams interesting and then coach here goes to alvin gentry i don't know where he coaches but he got coach here man so i'm pretty sure we did make the playoffs oh we should have we were only four games out of 50 wins but uh <clears throat> i'm sorry guys i know but um we didn't get anyone really that's kind of shocking do we get the rookie though yeah we got double double o for the rookie and uh, we did end up getting, where are we at? The six seed right here. <clears throat> we did end up getting the six seed. And so let's go and look at the player stats. I don't think I looked at them last year. That's my fault. So let's see what happened here. Schroeder led us in scoring. Then it was Spencer Dinwiddie. Shea Gilligas did okay, man. Thought he would do a lot better. And then double O was our second lane scorer. I mean, I said second. He was like our fourth. And then it was Adams, Conley, Winslow. And I guess this guy didn't really play. Uh, I guess not, but he went up to a 77. So we are taking on Dallas in the first round. Uh, we could win, we could not. I don't know who Dallas has besides Luka, Seth Curry, and like Kristaps. I don't know if they signed any free agents, but we are up 3-1 on them. We, we better not blow it, man. And we do end up winning in six. We do end up winning in six. It's very interesting, man. Man, I just hate how I'm talking right now. It's like... <clears throat> but we do end up winning in six. And like I said so many times, Justice Winslow was the lead scorer, really. I don't know how that happened, but okay. <clears throat> and the Suns beat the Lakers. Are you serious? The Phoenix Suns just beat the Lakers. We might have a chance to make it all the way to the conference finals right here. Taking on the Phoenix Suns, though. Chris Paul, Devin Booker versus his former team. They're up 2 on us. 3-2. Mm. It's similar to the Simcast here. Simulate with Simcast and see what happens. <clears throat> and it looks like we might pull this one out. And we do end up pulling out a game seven here in, uh, I believe, yeah, a game seven in OKC. You know, the OKC fans are loyal, so they, they're all going to be there, man. Come on, man. We Oh, no. Do not blow this. We do. Oh, we're going to win, man. Yeah, we blew them out. They did kind of come back at the end, but we did blow them out. Shea Gilligas had 25, 7, and 5. And then 
Steven Adams had 18 and 14, which is pretty cool, man. Spencer didn't want to do his thing. But can we... The Pelicans got the first seed. The Pelicans, man. But they end up losing. The Pelicans had the first seed and lost. They signed Montrezl Harrell. Wow. But the Jazz were up 2-0 on us. 3-1. And we end up losing at 6. But that's a really good playoff run just for the second season, man. We are going to go one more season and try to get them in the, a championship. But... I feel like that was a really good run for us and the young fellas that are still there. We do got to bring back SGA, of course, and we do got to end up seeing who else we got to bring back. I think Dennis Schroeder. No, we just resigned him. So that's pretty much all we got to bring back, man, as Rudy Gobert got, Rudy Gobert got a finals MVP. That's, that's crazy, man. And let's see who else retired. Carmelo, Iggy, Trevor, Kyle Lowry, LaMarcus. A lot of, a lot of the vets are retiring, man. A lot of the all-stars and good players are retiring we don't have any we're not on the draft lottery this year i don't believe unless the clippers sucked but uh let's head to the nba draft because we do have two first round picks yet again from the clippers man another two so let's send to the user pick and see where we pick and the clippers end up giving us the fourth pick the fourth pick in the draft wow and like I said, we do end up needing a point guard, but this says this dude's a playmaker at the shooting guard position. I did, I don't really know much about him. I don't really know much about this draft besides Greg Brown. That's all you gotta know in this draft, but I guess we'll be going with this guy as they had him as the second. The Clippers really blessed us, man, in this rebuild. The Clippers really blessed us. And then we are taking, uh, they got Scotty Brown here, the ninth player, really? Why not take him in? I know we have so many small, we have so many small forwards now, but why would you not do that, man? I, I like Kay Cunningham though. Kay Cunningham would be a perfect player for this rebuild, but we need to get him. So this point guard shooting guard is a 77 overall. And then we do get another 77 in Scotty Barnes. And then we're not going to be resigning this guy or sign him. Team player options. We'll bring Basil back and Isaiah Roby. Sure, why not? And then qualifying offers, Ferguson, yes, Gilgis, yes, and Harvey, not really. He, he's not going to be in that rotation, man. I don't even know who he is. Maybe some OKC fans do, but I don't. And then to bring back, we do got to bring back SGA, of course, giving him that max contract at an almost. He's going to be a 90 overall, man. And then Andre Robertson, I don't really want. And honestly, we do kind of need a small forward here, like just some depth. So not a small forward. A point guard. I don't want to bring my Conley back. Um, maybe Terry Rozier will come here. We don't even have enough to offer him. Maybe Terry Rozier will come here. Who knows? So we do get both. Hopefully it lets us sign both. Seth Curry. Stephen Curry's out there too. And it doesn't let us sign Terry Rozier, unfortunately. So, man. That sucks. Because then there's not really many point guards we can afford. Like, do I bring my Conley back? like I don't want to but I mean George Hill's 36 years old um I mean we could bring Mike Conley back give him a one-year deal and see if any team would want him you know why did he just renounce the rights on Mike Conley for did he go somewhere else I don't know why he did that but Let's go to player progression and see who went up, man. This is like the best part of when you do realistic rebuilds because you get to see who's going up and who's going down, man. So, it'd be, it'd be honestly interesting to see who went up, man. And Terrence Ferguson got six million. Like, Shea Gilgis is a 90 overall. Spencer Dinwiddie's 84. Like, this team is not bad, man. They're all going up. Besides Adams, we might have to look to move Adams. Like, but it's just, I don't know who's gonna want him for 19 million. Like, that's a problem. We're probably stuck with Adams for this rebuild. I should have moved him when he was on that one year deal, but I'm a Steven Adams fan, man. Like I, I like Steven Adams a lot. Like he's not your he's not your center that's gonna go get you what, twenty five and twenty every night. But he's a good center that will can defend, he can play. He knows his role where he's just gonna do pick and rolls most of the time. And all in all, he's just a really good player, man. He, he, could, he does his role, man, very well. And what I do like about him, though, the most is that 
Shane Gilligan's got a 99 min range. Pretty cool. What I do like is that he knows when... What? He knows what to do every time. But... He's also one of the nicest guys on the court too, man. If it's on the opposite team and he knocks you down or something, he'll help you up. He's also one of the nicest guys, but he did go back up to 80 overall, which is pretty cool, man. But I do want to see what I can get for Mike Conley. Like I said, we do not really need Mike Conley on this team. So if I can get a better backup center, like a Davis Bertons wouldn't be bad. You get that sharpshooter. And then honestly, I really feel like we could bring, what's his name, back to uh, OKC Serge Ibaka because no, that's, he's in Detroit, never mind. I thought he was on the Raptors. So we could get Davis Bertans because they did lose out on Fred Van Vliet. And they do need a backup point guard, I believe. So if we go look at Toronto real quick and see if they do need a backup point guard here. <clears throat> and, I mean, not really. They got Derrick Rose. So there wouldn't be much room for Mike Conley there. Actually, they did lose out on both. I forgot Kyle Lowry retired. So let's go see what else we could get. I really wish they would show us, like, we could look at their rosters without having to do all this. So, if we go and look for a power forward, like who's offering a power forward? The Mavericks are, the Kings with Marcus Morris. I mean the Knicks. Marcus Morris went back to the Knicks. Um, Rudy Gay is only a seventy-three though. Demarcus Cousins for the Hornets. I could see that happening. It just who's on the Hornets and like because they did just lose out on what's his name. It's a seventy-eight for a seventy-eight man. I feel like that's realistic. But it's like, who did they lose out on? Because Devontae Graham was gone. So if we go look at the Hornets, I should have looked before I made the trade. But I, I don't know why I just made the trade. They have De'Aaron Fox. And then they have Mike Conley backing him up. So that was a good trade, man. They didn't have a backup point guard. So they do have a backup point guard now, Mike Conley. And then for us, we do not need a backup center, really. We do need a backup center, actually. So that does help us with Basil. So this team... I mean, it's good, but it's not great yet. Like, Spencer Dinwiddie has... He's a good point guard for us. This team could go out and compete, I feel like. He's got two years left. We got Barnes. And then we have Adams at center, along with our power forward, with Schroeder off the bench, Basil, and Cousins, and Winslow. This team is not bad at all. We do have some rookies that are, like, high overalls, man, which could also be helping us. But, um, let's see what we can get for Spencer Dinwiddie. If we throw Spencer Dinwiddie and like this first and two first, there's teams that are gonna want two first round picks and Spencer Dinwiddie, man. But like you could get Dejounte Murray and Keldon Johnson, like that's not realistic. I don't think the Spurs would do that. So bonus, I mean, we already have a power forward. Alonzo Ball, not really. Jared Allen, Jonathan Isaac, the Mavericks want to trade him. It's like some of these trades aren't realistic. Kelly Uber end up going to the Clippers, man. That sucks for us. But uh. John Collins in Miami, that that's not realistic. Like some of these trades just aren't realistic. Like Victor Oladipo would be realistic, but we don't need Oladipo. Like this trade would be cool if it wasn't a realistic rebuild because you get DeJounte and Kelvin Johnson. But like I said, it's a realistic rebuild. So this is a rotation, man. I do want to give some more minutes out though. Basil could get 20, Schroeder could get 25, give Steven Adams 33, and I want to give Barnes like 31. So we're going to send the season, man. Shai Gilgis is a 90 overall, man. He should carry us to the playoffs and hopefully to the postseason victory. So we did do a lot better again than we did the previous year. We went 59 and 23, which blew my mind because I built so many better teams in this and we haven't we came and won 50 games. It like blows my mind, man. This team is good, but it's not that good, man. So here's your stats here. I want to pause and look. Um, most of them are rookies. Giannis did get defense player of the year, and then Cole Anthony got most improved, I guess. And then Billy Diamond is your coach of the year. Do we get anyone on the All NBA first team or second? Um, doesn't look like it. It really doesn't. You got the Wizards. Other than that, I mean, it's not for us, so I don't really care. Defensive player of the year. I'm surprised there's no Steven Adams, but what can you do, man? Our rookies didn't play, so they're not going to be on this team. We did end up getting the uh, second seed, so we are down here at the bottom, as y'all can see. And uh, let's go look at the stats, man. I'm curious to see who did what. And all in all, Shea Gilligas is a 90 still. He had 22 points, 7 assists. And then we had Spencer Dinwiddie averaging 20 and 7. Then it was Dennis Schroeder with 17 off the bench for us. Scotty Barnes did pretty good for that small forward spot. Kind of playing that Matt Barnes role, you know. 
And then we got the double O with 13 and 13. Good for him. And then where is Steven Adams? Nine and 10 and a half. And then Cousins did his thing. Scored 10 points off the bench for us. Not bad. And what did he shoot from three? He didn't take a three. What? This dude's not shooting threes, man. Are you serious? This dude's tendencies have to suck, man. This dude has a 76 three and is not attempting no three. What's his three point tendency, man? Um, a zero. This dude's three point tendency is a zero, but he's got a 78 three. Get out of here, man. Bullet Simulate against Denver, who did end up getting the seventh seed, man. We shouldn't end up winning. We are up 1-0 on them. 2-0. 3-0. And we'll probably sweep them, man. Nope. Gentlemen sweep them. We do gentlemen sweep them. Again, a rematch against the Phoenix Suns, who I believe did go past us. Well, we are 2-0 on the Suns. I didn't mean to simulate all the playoffs. Shea Gilligas, man. 35-11. and 11. Dude's a monster. Simulate the round, man. It is 2-1 us. 3-1 us. 4-1. If this team goes on to win a championship, man... I just don't know what's wrong with 2K. Like, how would this team go on to win a championship, man? Spencer Dinwiddie had 29 and 12 for us, 24 and 6, 23 and 8 for Barnes. But we are taking on the Pelicans, who I don't know, man. Pelicans are a good team, but it is 2 1 them. Simulate the round, man. 2 2, 3 2. Mm. Let's do Simcast here, man. Um, We really shouldn't. We might lose. I don't know, man. This team is good. Looks like we're pulling away here. Yeah, we're pulling away. We end up we end up uh, going to a game seven here. Simulate with Simcast yet again. We are in OKC. We should end up winning. Hopefully, man. Oh, doesn't look like. We are coming back a little bit. Uh, we're, oh, we're coming back, man. We came back. Let's go. Wait, what happened? Was that the end of the game? It looked like it just glitched out. What the hell? Shane Gilligas had 25 and 6 and Spencer Dinwiddie. They're doing their thing, man. But how is this team in the finals? The Knicks are in the finals, too. This is one of the weirdest rebuilds, man, I've done. I ain't even gonna lie. Simulate the round, man. It's 2 0 us, 2 1, 2 2, 3 2, 3 3. A game 7 in the NBA finals, man. I just don't know how this team got to the NBA finals, man. I really don't. It looks like, and we're about to blow the Knicks out. We blew the Knicks out in OKC. This team won an NBA championship. And your finals MVP is Shea Gilligas Alexander, man. He had 23, 5, and 6 in the finals. Averaging, he shot 54% from 3. That is crazy. I don't think he attempted that many threes and to shoot that high. But he attempted 54 threes. That's crazy, man. I mean, he shot 54%. Who's on the Knicks, though? I'm curious. They got Kelvin Hayes. Is that Kelvin? Keelan Hayes, Michael Porter Jr., Julius Randle. Michael Beasley is still playing. Malik Beasley. I was about to say Michael Beasley, man. Tristan Thompson, like, there's no way this team makes the finals. Let alone my team make the finals. That's crazy, man. But that's the end of the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.